sounding off tonight about the recent coyote concerns. Tonight was the first of two meetings that leaders are hosting to tell residents about what they're doing to protect your pets and your, your family. We've been talking about this for months now. A new tonight, WGSU reporter Courtney Williams joins us live from Gretna with how officials say they can coexist with the coyotes. Courtney. Well, Gina, residents here in Jefferson Parish tell me they're afraid to go outside of their homes and let their pets out at night because of the coyotes, and they feel the parish isn't doing anything to fix the problem. You're punishing the neighbors who have lived their lives taking care of animals that nobody else wants to take care of to save the coyotes. Many residents in Jefferson Parish say life as they knew it before the coyotes came along has changed drastically. Jefferson Parish residents showed up to voice their concerns about increased coyote sightings and in some cases, pets they believe have been killed by coyotes in their neighborhood. And what drove me to this is when I saw that elderly lady on the ground picking up pieces of her cat and to me, I love coyotes. I think they're beautiful, but when they're coming into your area, they've got to go. According to a wildlife and fishery spokesperson, coyotes are becoming more common in urban areas because of increased development and availability of food. In July, I spoke to a woman who had nine of her ducks and chickens eaten by coyotes. Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee says while they can't eradicate the coyotes, they can educate the community on how to coexist with them and we're just trying to get as much information out as possible because uh, we're not going to be able to trap our way out of this. You know, um, we have to learn to coexist with coyotes and there's a way that it can be done, but we all have a part in doing it. Last week, Jefferson Parish Council members allocated $30,000 in discretionary funds to hire a trapper. Merrill Bergeron says trappers were trying to charge residents $300 a day to catch a coyote, and that's money they say they simply don't have. That's ridiculous. I think that the power should have to pay that. And I believe that they allocated the money to do that. I don't know anybody that can throw $300 away. That's ridiculous. In the meantime, Lee encourages residents to practice hazing, which is a technique that scares and discourages coyotes from returning to a certain area. But money will not be allocated to fund defense mechanisms for people's individual households. We don't have a program where we're going to make improvements to individual, you know, people's homes, but we do have two contractors on, on contract already um, that we hired on an emergency basis. We're really about just trying to get the word out about how we can mitigate um, our coyote interactions. Now, Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee recommends that residents bring in their bird feed as well as food for stray cats and dogs to prevent coyotes from coming into their yard. And you can find more information on that on our website at WDSU.com. For now, reporting live in Jefferson Parish, Courtney Williams, WDSU News. Courtney, thank you. The meeting on the East Bank is tomorrow night from 6 to 7 at the Yenny Building in Harahan.